Hey Tim here, in this video I'm going to be covering Tableau Exchange and Tableau Accelerators. I'm going to do these in the same video because I think it makes the most sense. In case you missed it, at the Tableau conference, Tableau announced something new called the Tableau Exchange and in relation to that they talked about something called the Tableau Economy. Now the Tableau Economy is essentially the ecosystem they're trying to build to bring partners, authors and people who want to use Tableau together by creating a marketplace essentially where they can exchange assets, whether it's workbooks, connectors, extensions, all of these things that we've known in the past, but in the future that's going to grow into a much bigger library of different types of assets. In the first iteration, they're calling this the Tableau Exchange. So you can see over here on the top left, this is the Tableau Exchange. And at its launch, we have three main things. We have extensions, connectors, and accelerators. Now, these are not new things. Don't, don't, don't sort of be fooled by the branding here. These are things that have existed before today. This is just a much nicer way of accessing and browsing these things. Now, people might argue that accelerators haven't existed today, but I'll show you that these have existed because of essentially what they are. Templates. So first of all, let's go look at the extension gallery. This is what was used to be called the extension gallery. You can actually go check out my video on the in product extension gallery uh, and some of the other stuff I've done in extension. My colleague Andre has also built some extensions on here and you can find extensions from various partners, including the information lab as well. But what is really interesting here is that this is now a sort of central place to come and find these. And this a sort of marketplace is really starting to grow um, and it's really becoming like a really large lively place to sort of find these things. So this is nice that we've got a home page. You can filter it. You can kind of go around and browse it however you want. You can maybe look at specific uh, um, extensions that do specific things. For example, if I go to the write and export data, there's the export all extension uh, by the information lab, which allows you to exp export multiple uh, data sources as different sheets in Excel. It's a really sort of simple extension. Now, what is interesting is that at least at launch, there's no extensions on here that seem to require money, although in the past extensions have required money, if that makes sense. So the, the Tableau Exchange doesn't have any sort of transaction platform yet, it doesn't have any of that. I'm sure it will in the future. This is just the obvious direction this is moving in. So that's the dashboard extensions. Um, these have been talked about a lot in the community. So if you don't know what these are, go and check them out. If we go over to the connectors, this is something that was released in 21.1 and 21.2. Um, uh, so yeah, there were some extension connectors here in 21.1. Essentially what these are are connectors built by third parties for Tableau. So essentially they gave uh, partners the connector SDK, which will essentially allow them to build their own connectors for Tableau without Tableau having to do the heavy lifting. I sort of hope these will make their way into virtual connections as well. So people can connect um, sort of really interesting third party data sets like for example, Strava and social media platforms that have always been a pain in the neck to sort of connect. I'd love Google, for example, to build a Tableau connector for Google Analytics that's a little bit better than the Google Analytics one that's in Tableau today. So that would be really, really cool. Um, but essentially, these are here. You can use them. There's not many. It's a very small group, but there you go. That's that's what's available. Now, if we go to accelerators, this, this, oh man, I find this really difficult to sort of really understand where I land with this feature. But let me first explain what it is. Then we can have a debate about whether it's a good thing or not. Accelerators are essentially templates. These templates that you can install uh, come with a connection pre-configured and then you can just get going from the get-go. Let's have a look at a few. If you've used Salesforce, uh, you might be used to tracking opportunities in Salesforce. If I click on that and I go down here, you'll see that this is the dashboard that is essentially there. If I scroll down, uh, you've got different things that you can sort of connect to. And these are all dashboards, essentially. They've just been slotted in. And um, on the, over on the right-hand side, you can see the type of connections and the metadata and which versions it works with. So this is sort of really good. Uh, if I go down and let's look at some sort of slightly more sort of off piece, let's go to this telco one here. You can see that it answers these key business questions, these KPIs, these required attributes, and then you go in and then there's your accelerator and this is your cockpit for a telco. Okay. And um, I mean, just, just put aside 
the way this looks for now. Let's just ignore, let's just see if this is a beautiful dashboard. Um, essentially, what this essentially offers you is the ability to grab this and drop it into your own telco and connect the right things up, connect the right variables, map all of that stuff. I'm sure that takes a bit of effort. I'm sure it's not straightforward, but you essentially map all your various data sets and you're pretty much good to go. And you have dashboards ready to go. And from this, you can customize them. You can make them uh, do different things. You can kind of pull out what you want dump what you don't need and sort of go from there. But it means you're not starting from zero. Uh, some of these do have quite nice sort of design and they do pull in some nice information. But uh, generally speaking, this is how they all work. Now, none of this is new. None of this is new at all. It's purely been rebranded. Why? In September, Tableau acquired this company. Actually, not Tableau. Salesforce acquired this company, uh, Linato uh, SA. And essentially, they actually already were building these templates and they were making them available on their website. It's sort of a weird thing that Tableau have acquired this company and the templates are still publicly available over here. So it's no coincidence that they're actually also called accelerators over on this website. And if you go to the accelerators tab and go down, you can see that a lot of these icon look eerily similar to what we've seen in the Tableau exchange. So what makes me a little bit frustrated about this feature is that it just feels like Tableau of wholesale just basically picked this up and dropped it into a rebranded place without really doing what I would expect as a sort of Tableau developer, some quality assurances to make sure this feels like Tableau. And the simple thing is, for example, Tableau, the Tableau font, it's a font that we all know. If you go and download some of the sample Tableau workbooks, these don't look like sample Tableau workbooks. If I go to some of the uh, tabs here, you'll find tables, you'll find things that just don't make visual sense, best, visual best practice sense. You'll find things in here that you're told not to do in Tableau training. So it's a whole load of sort of drag and drop. I mean, look at this. This is actually a seasonality analysis uh, that's available as a, an accelerator. And it's it, it's uh, it's by Tableau and it's free. Um, but, you know, I, th th this just doesn't feel like Tableau at all. There's just no quality assurance in my mind that the final product has been vetted before it's appeared here in the accelerators course. Instead, what they've gone for is they've just gone and grabbed everything that they acquired from this company, all of these things, and they've just dumped it inside of this rebranded sort of place. And it's sort of it's a really sort of not nice experience, if I'm honest. It's not a nice way to sort of be uh, brought into this uh, new product. And it does sort of point to an important question about the exchange, which is, Who's going to play the role at Tableau of making sure they curate the content on here so it doesn't become a dumping ground of tons of stuff that isn't best practice or isn't well used? Now, as an author, there is another issue with this, which is I'm not essentially a template person. There used to be a time when people said that with Tableau, you didn't need templates because you could build it yourself. It seems like we've moved on from that. And I, I don't know when that philosophy really changed, but to me, that's a super important thing because we spend so much time in the community showing people how to do stuff because we truly believe that it's really that easy. And with these accelerators, you're sort of setting the de facto standard for what people who are new to Tableau are going to think is good practice because, of course, it's being endorsed and it's been built by Tableau. Every single one of these says by Tableau. So if you get a dashboard, uh, if you you buy a lot of uh, Tableau, if you spend a lot of money, some people spend six figures on Tableau, and then you end up with one of these, you're going to say, oh yeah, Tableau built this starter. It must be good practice. That's what they're recommending. So it's also a bit of a kick in the teeth to everyone in the community who spends so much time uh, putting a lot of love and blood, sweat and tears into beautifully designed stuff um, that, that just sort of far better than this, much more well thought through. And none of that seems to be sort of, uh, you know, made its way here. Now, look, I don't want to dunk on someone who actually did work on these workbooks. These workbooks were built by people and I'm always sort of reticent of sort of dunking on something then realizing that there's someone out there who actually worked on these things. But the key thing here is not that Linalto didn't do this quality assurance. They're a company building a bunch of dashboards as a starting tool pack. The key thing here is that Tableau's acquired this company and there's been a lack of, I think, due diligence to make this look like a Tableau and product, look and feel like a Tableau product. Instead, it's just been lift and drop straight into a place without what I would hope any person, anyone at Tableau who builds dashboards would not um, approve some of these dashboards as sort of, you know, final output. So 
I don't know what this really means. I don't know what this really sort of says about this whole setup. But uh, like, I'm not angry. I'm not ranting. I'm just saying it's a shame. It's really unfortunate because there's a bunch of philosophies here that seem like they've just been picked up and left on the road when the whole time in the community, we've always said that Tableau is a great product to use. Um, it's easy to use. And here's how to do it. I make videos showing people how to use Tableau because I think it's easy to do that. I'm not going to be making videos showing people how to make templates because they're templates. They are cookie cutters. And I don't think they allow you to really express and learn from this stuff. I'm making these videos for everyone, not just authors as well. So ah, I don't know. I'm I'm really frustrated with these accelerators. And you know, if we just go to the accelerator list here and um you know, they do have some companies that are already using this. Um, you know, Tableau is obviously a big customer here because it's been acquired. But let's, if we go to this uh, little uh, explorer here, there's this sort of dashboard here. And uh, if we go to one specific area, I'll, I'll just show you how little work has been done to sort of adapt this. So this is the hospitality, okay? So let's look at hospitality finance. You'll see this is the cockpit. Now this cockpit looked very similar to what I've shown you before. And again, it has the same sort of fields and so on and so forth. So, forth. so we've got a bunch of properties and the information here actually looks pretty good. You've got some uh, snapshots of what this looks like. So you can have a little peek into some of these dashboards. But look at this, this is the exact same dashboard we're just looking at, but it's being used in a different context. So let's go back and let's go look for that exact same dashboard. In fact, if I go over here, select hospitality, we'll see the same two dashboards, click on hospitality. And again, basically the same list of stuff. <coughs> and as we scroll down, you'll see the accelerator loads. Now, I mean, how is this an advert for an accelerator, right? Look at the spinner on this. It's taking ages to load. I mean, the least Tableau can do here is make sure that these load quickly. I mean, and when you get there, this is just not good viz best practice. And again, I don't want to dunk on someone who has spent time on this. The context of how they worked on it is not the same context I would expect Tableau to be evaluating these. And so if we go through, you can see pretty much all the tabs in here are like for like identical. So we landed on the cockpit and all these tabs here are pretty much the exact same uh, tabs that we're seeing over here. So no real change has really gone into any of these either. So <clears throat> I think that's the same, you know, you bought this company in September and in three months, all you've done is copy and paste into this feature. I mean, I know that's a feature in 21.4, but I didn't think it would happen here on these accelerators. So look, I'm frustrated with this feature because I don't think it's Tableau at its best, but here I am showing you uh, why this feature works. And so I hope people find this video about accelerators and I hope they see how uh, you know passionate I am that I don't think these are good examples of things you should be using. But what is good about this is that uh, partners and other people are hopefully going to be able to put stuff in here that is of high quality that you're going to love. And um, as a very simple example, I'm just going to show you an example of what you can find for free in the Tableau community that is also a template that you can deploy in your organization. I'm going to go to someone I follow a lot on Tableau Public, uh, a colleague of mine, Ellen Blackburn. I go to her profile all the time. Uh, so let's go to Tableau Public profile. And she's built some templates. Now, she's a colleague of mine, so of course I'm biased. But just look at some of these uh, templates that she's built. These are manufacturing dashboard templates that she's built. And just look how different the quality of this is. So you need to be excited about where this kind of stuff dropping in the accelerator gallery rather than the stuff that Tableau seems to have just sort of copy and pasted from a context that doesn't really, really make any sense. So yeah, um, check out the cool stuff in Tableau Public. If I'm brutally honest, I actually think Tableau Public's search function is going to be a better example if I just, for example do hospitality here let's fingers crossed we hope we find something vastly better again okay yes some of these are good some of these aren't so good Tableau Public is about people learning oh look we've got uh, the Tableau Accelerator um, dashboard that's been published to Tableau Public as well so <laughs> it gets worse not only have Tableau not sort of put these somewhere but they've 
put them all on Tableau Public as well. So now they become sort of searchable and there's even someone who's favorited this as well. But anyway, nonetheless, if you look at hospitality, look at this dashboard here. Um, who's built this uh, by D? I don't know who D is. Uh, I'll have a look at their profile in a second. But this generally has more thoughts gone into it than some of the stuff we've seen. So this is just a demo template. Um, it has a lot more thought. It has a style. It has some sort of formatting thought through. It has a concept of sort of design going through it. It's not like, you know, it's not an amazing dashboard, but it's a good dashboard. It's had a bit of thought applied to it. So um, look on Tableau Public, look at good examples of this stuff. If you're not sure, use the Twitter hashtag datafam and ask the datafam, hey, are there any good examples of dashboards about X? And normally someone will find something or get you on a call where they can show you that. Okay, that's it. Rant over. I've stopped. Uh, that's pretty much me from uh, this video and Tableau Extensions and Tableau Accelerator and um, the Tableau Exchange, actually. So, you know, really take Accelerator with a pinch of salt, please. Um, I'm not impressed with the sort of first instance that we've seen here, uh, but nonetheless, let's uh, let's see what happens in the future. Let's hope that these will get better in the future as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.